Today I'm going to be highlighting one way that I enjoy a clean home every single day. If this is something that you are interested in, I hope you'll keep watching. Today I'm going to be sharing one portion of the Lady of the House method that helps me enjoy a clean home every day. There are six different areas that I really focus on for the everyday, which can be found in the Lady of the House Life Book, which I have several different designs of, and I just came out with a brand new one for the academic year, so I do not have it yet because I did order it in a hardcover, but I do have it linked in my description box below. And as of right now, I did have one order from that book and I'm so excited for you to receive it, whoever ordered it, as I am for myself. So once I do get that book, I will share it, you know, what it looks like and everything. But today I wanted to go over the everyday list that I have in the Lady of the House method. And really this is just a, um, a routine of sorts to go through every day, but it's part of the whole schedule for keeping the Lady of the House method intact. But today I'm highlighting cleaning the kitchen. So this whole list of things to do, we are also keeping in mind to leave a space better than you found it. And really just having that mindset when you go into any space within your home, it's going to really help you in keeping all of these spaces picked up and clean, even if you are delegating different tasks for different members within your home. So today we are focusing on cleaning the kitchen. I received a question recently from Lots of Love Stephanie Joy, and she said, everyday cleaning item question. What do you consider for cleaning the kitchen to be able to check that off? So within this routine of sorts that we would do every single day, in the cleaning the kitchen section, what does that mean? Does it just mean doing the dishes? No, absolutely not, not in my book. So if you do have the Lady of the House Life book, just know that when I say clean the kitchen, when it's written there, that is not what it means, it's just to do the dishes. I'm going to go through this list of what I have in my mind of what I consider to be a clean kitchen or just what I like to make sure to do every single day. Now, is that going to be done in the morning or is it going to be done at night? Which one should it be? Really, I am going to leave that up to you as the lady of the house because oftentimes, often, oftentimes, oftentimes it really does make a difference as far as how much energy each individual lady has at what given time. So for instance, some evenings, I am just, I don't have it in me to stay up really late 
or to just even put in a lot of energy into cleaning up the kitchen. Sometimes it's the kids that are helping out with cleaning up the kitchen and maybe they don't do as thorough of a job as I would do. So maybe the next morning when I have a lot more energy, this is the time that I would do it. So I am not saying one way or the other as the lady of the house, that's something that each one of us gets to determine for ourselves and for our own homes. But for those of you who are interested in what I mean in this particular list for the everyday of what I mean by clean the kitchen, let me share with you what I have in my mind as far as cleaning the kitchen goes. So the first thing I would say is to clear any clutter. When you clear all of the clutter off of your countertops or just anywhere in your kitchen, this even means on the ground, anything, clear the clutter out of your kitchen because it means a lot less to clean and a lot less visual clutter for you to feel like you're getting somewhere when it comes to cleaning your kitchen. This is a great time to ask for those who are within your home that may have different things on the counter in the kitchen. Please come and get those items, put them where they go, or you yourself are going to put those items where they go and just to completion. So even, um, you know, the extra things on the counters such as an air fryer or just whatever does not belong there, you are giving it a home. Any cereal boxes, stuff like that, right? Stuff that isn't decor in that space and that doesn't actually live on the counter. And keep in mind that when you are going to wipe down the counters, you are also going to move anything that is on the counter. And that's what I mean by cleaning the kitchen. And yes, this is done every day, not just on kitchen day, which that will be for another video. The next thing would be to clean the dishes and put them away. So you can be doing other things too. If you say you air dry your dishes, then there might be some other things that you would want to do in that time that they are air drying and that's fine. But cleaning the dishes and then putting them away, that is the whole cycle. Then after that would be to clean the walls and the backsplash of noticeable splatter, especially behind the stove and the sink. So of course these are areas that get they get pretty messy because wherever we are cooking that gets a lot of splatter as well as behind wherever we're doing dishes that whole area really does need to be wiped down daily and don't forget underneath you know where if you have a tray for instance you're kind of doing all of that together but just don't forget that you want to make sure to clean the backsplash a big reason for this is because if you are using your kitchen daily this stuff tends to build up and you want to be ahead of that so making sure to wipe all of that down just makes it really easy nothing stays on there too long to wear things build up, right? Like dust and um, from oil splatter, stuff like that. So then you clean the counters and the stove and yes, under anything that does that is living on the countertop. And I think that this is important to do on a day-to-day -day basis because there are crumbs and you just want to make sure that you are doing a thorough clean of your countertops because this might be where you're preparing food. Hopefully it is. Um, you know, you set things on it, just making sure that it's nice and disinfected and very clean. That's part of why I am very adamant about having very clear countertops. Having very little that lives on them is because it makes it so much easier to wipe down. So imagine if you just had, you know, stuff all over your counter and the sun is, you know, going behind clouds, coming out, so it is just really bright at different points, so um, there's that. But anyway, the less we have out on the countertops, the easier it is to keep this space clean because we are cleaning it every single day and just it's just less for us to have to move around to clean under. Then uh, clean the soap and the sponge tray. So if you have a little tray, I have a little plate that I use, um, a 
pink depression glass tray that I use, which is just a plate, but I have my dish soap on there. It's where I also put the sponge and it's also where I put the kitchen counter spray and a flower something pretty there to make the everyday beautiful but it's an area that really gets gross if you don't take care of it and daily so make sure to do that then the next thing would be to clean the sink out i think scrubbing the sink out is very important on a daily basis now if you are going to wash the dishes this is something that you would want to make sure to just clean out wherever you are putting those clean dishes before you rinse them make sure that that area is scrubbed out and then you might want to scrub that kitchen sink out once all the dishes are done and then of course replace washcloth and the kitchen towel with a clean one when you are done with everything and then sweeping and vacuuming and spot mopping that space so I'm not saying take out the mop every single day but you know it just really depends on how how dirty that space is but if you sweep it or you mop it every single I'm sorry, not mop it. If you sweep it or vacuum it every day, that way you're not walking around on crumbs um, and then just do a little spot mop. It should last you until either kitchen day or the day that you are going to do all of the flooring. So that is really what I have on my list of keeping a clean kitchen every day. And maybe you try to do something else on that list for the kitchen every day as far as you know maybe you're wiping cabinets down maybe you're wiping the fridge down something like that where you notice that something needs to be done this would be a great time when you have that washcloth out before you get a brand new one do a little something so even within the um, lady of the house method when it comes to the kitchen area I do encourage you which falls on a Wednesday I encourage you to do something from that list something from that list when you're in there because you're in there anyway if you have trouble keeping a clean kitchen this might be something that you would consider doing and again don't feel bad if that's in the morning and it's not at night for you but if you are able to get that done at night that would probably be ideal but i myself do not always get that done at night so anyway thank you so much for being here if you are looking for a method to help keep your home clean i hope you will check out the lady of the house life book that i have linked in my description box below and i look forward to seeing you in my next video mm -hmm.